Hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley. And today, we're going to have a little Bob the Builder class. We're going to learn vocabulary in English that has to do with home repair, tools, fixing things. All right, these are uh, the kinds of nouns and verbs that you probably don't get much exposure to because they're extremely practical and realistic. And uh, we're going to be doing that by a mixture of uh, exercises, mix and match. We'll look at pictures and learn the nouns. We'll talk about the verbs, and we will talk about uh, fixing stuff. Okay, uh, let me start by uh, welcoming some students to class. Hello, Mustafa. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How you doing, man? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. And uh, you? Cool. Uh, I, you know, I'm fair to middling. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, nice, to, nice to see you again. Welcome to class. Hello, Heidi. Good morning. Hello. Nice to see you again. Good morning. Nice to see are, you. Are you hungry? <laughs> Am I hungry? Yeah. You know me, Heidi. I'm always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing I don't wear, weigh like 200 kilos. Really, it is. Uh, Eliza, good morning to you, or good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever. Hi, Eliza. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Yes, How are you? Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Welcome to class. Uh, and a good morning, Max. Hi, Max. Good morning. Good morning, Oki. Okay. Good morning. I'm hey, hey, fine. Max. Do you fix? Do you fix things around your house? Yeah. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Well, now after this class, next time you fix things around your house, you can talk about it in English. Oh, what a bonus. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> okay, terrific. Uh, greetings, William. Hi. Good evening, Oakley. How are you, man? I'm doing okay, brother. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, welcome to class. All right, guys. I, I'm going to start this off with a little mix and match picture display. Uh, we're going to work on the nouns first, the, the tools, the stuff we use to, f to fix things around the house. I got a lot of material, so I'm going to jump right in. Um, I'm going to do a screen share here, and we're going to talk about uh, some tools and things that we, uh, that we use to fix things at home. Okay. Uh, scissors and a hammer, a paintbrush, and pliers. Okay, I will come back. I'll look at this stuff. We're going to look at the pictures, and then I, if you need help, we'll, we'll look at these words, but we're going to go straight, straight to the pictures here. What are these things? Uh, Mustafa, what's this? Trap. It's a rat trap. It's a rat trap. Yeah, rat trap or mouse trap. Um, yeah, we, we can't tell from the pictures. Are these mice or rats? <laughs> How big are they? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Mustafa. Yeah. What is what is what is this here in the middle? You got to put something here. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Like a, a kind of food, maybe it's for to attract them. That's right, and uh, it's to attract them so you can catch them. That's bait. All right. When you're if you're fishing, you put bait on your fish hook. All right. Okay. If uh, if I want to con you out of your money, maybe I use a pretty girl. Or alcohol, or I use something as bait. All right, 
try to trick you into doing something, that's bait. All right. So you put some bait. What's good bait for a mouse trap? Um, mm, uh, some some people may make uh, put uh, bread. I think. Bread. Does any? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to hear from the entire class. What is the best bait for a mouse trap? Cheese. Cheese. All right. That's the classic. That's the classic answer. Anybody else have a another idea? Okay, I will tell you guys. The best possible bait is peanut butter. <laughs> what? Peanut butter. I'm not kidding you guys. Peanut really? butter. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm giving you guys some practical household advice. If you ever have to get rid of mice or rats, peanut butter is the is like a, a rat or a, a mouse cannot resist it. it it's it's a uh, ultimate bait. Wham! Okay, sorry. I just I had to do a little onomatopoeia there. <laughs> okay. Next one, Heidi. What's this? Glue. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, do you have some glue in your house? Yes, yes. I have some kind of glue. Um, for have, for wood or wood glue, uh huh. For paper. Yeah. Okay. There's many different kinds of glue. But Heidi. I have another one. Solder. 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 Ah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Good word for. Ooh. This is a good word to introduce to the class. It's almost like soldier. Solder. Solder. Is when you um, fix things together. You stick things together using heated metal. Iron. Um, right. Iron. Solder iron. That's right. And it's, uh, this is a weird word. It's pronounced in English solder. I have to solder these two pieces of metal together. So you, you might use a torch to heat or some kind of flame to heat up the metal until it's liquid form to glue things together. Good word. Very useful in this lesson. Thank you. But Heidi, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Have you, um, do you, uh, do you know about uh, the kind of glue, it's in, like instant and... Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes. Like, actually, just like the picture. It comes yes, in a little... Yes, kind uh, it's kind of advertisement in Japan. And the motorbike is running. Then they put uh, the quick stick glue, and uh, it uh, couldn't move from that place. <laughs> okay, I ha I'm going to ask you a very personal question. Have you ever glued your fingers together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Thank goodness I'm not the only one. Oh yeah, great. Thank you. I I put Bye. my my uh, fingers on the uh, water. A look warm, a look, uh, yeah. Look warm water uh, for a while. Then finally, <laughs> it <Okay>. was successfully. <laughs> thank, thank you, Heidi, for confirming the fact. I'm not the only one who has done that. Uh, I appreciate that very, very much. Eliza, what is this tool? What is this Please. tool? Here? Uh, in in English, it's a long eye ply plier. Pliers. Yeah, okay, pliers. In fact, um, there's different kinds of pliers. These are called needle nose pliers. Needle nose because uh, they have a sharp end. Okay, needle nose pliers. There are other kinds of pliers which are uh, adjustable, uh, which we use to turn bolts or screws. Uh, but these are needle nose pliers. Oh my gosh. And I, mm -hmm. silly me, I've just noticed that uh, still the Verbling chat box does not scroll down. So guys, I'm going to move over to the group chat box to write my notes. That is in the upper left hand corner, the top left hand corner. There's a blue box. 
Yeah, Mustafa's there. You found it. Um, so uh, please click on that because I'm going to be writing uh, additional notes up there. Okay. Uh, needle nose pliers. These are often used for uh, wiring. Uh, as you can see here, they, they are gripping onto a wire. That, all right, well, electricians use these a lot. I, I'm sure Max uses these in his work. Um, here's one that I'm sure Heidi uses. Aha! Max, what does Heidi use as a tool? Number four. Uh, string? No. She's not needle. flying a kite. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, thread. Okay, needle and needle thread. Needle and thread. Okay, the needle is the pointy thing here, and the thread is the string. Um, when it's very, very, uh, very, very small, and we use it for stitching, for repairing clothing, or or building clothing. I know that's not really correct. Uh, for creating clothing, needle and thread are used to sew. That's S E W, sew. Okay, very good. Ooh, what's this? Uh, Will in? Sorry, I don't have an idea. Uh, this is clearly a spaceship. No. <laughs> Um, no, probably not. Um, Hammer and nails? <laughs> negative. I don't know. You're, you're not a plumber, are you, William? Scissors. Scissors, no. No. Anybody know? Can I get some help? Spanner. Thank Spanner. you. Spanner. Okay. You're correct. Okay, now, uh... British, in fact, call this a spanner. It, uh, that's um, totally true. This is a spanner, but Americans know this as a wrench. Okay? This is a wrench. We also have uh, an adjustable wrench. Okay? You can adjust the size. Um, there's a, a type... It, there's a type of wrench that has two handles you can squeeze and you can adjust the size the, or the diameter of this hole. It's a, an adjustable wrench or in British uh, parlance an adjustable spanner. Okay and you use this to tighten or loosen uh, bolts. Bolts. Bolts are like a screw with this uh, top, see this top here? That's the, yeah. That top's a bolt. That's the top of a bolt. Okay, bolt. Uh, I should write that. A bolt. That, that's a noun. Interesting. Um, both the terms wrench and bolt in English can be used as a verb. If you wrench your elbow, you twist it really hard. Ow! Okay. Ah, I wrenched my elbow out of socket. Just like this tool, you, ha you have to twist, right? Um, to bolt as a verb means to, like an, an antelope, when it sees a lion, it bolts. It runs away very fast. Uh, even in, um, I guess, informal slang language, if I say to my friend, ah, uh, dude, I've got a bolt. I'm already late for work. I've got to leave very fast. All right. Okay, round and round we go. Uh, Mustafa, back to you. Let's look at number six. What are these things? This is the, uh, like scissors, like something... Scissors. Yeah, scissors. Scissors. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Here, there. Here it is. Scissors. Scissors. Scissors is uncountable. 
And I, I cannot say three scissors. I cannot. I have to say three pairs of scissors. It's like uh, eyeglasses or pants. These these words that end with an S. We have to use another word to help us quantify or or say how many. One pair of pants. Three pairs of pants. Uh, okay, that means that we can use scissor for plural and and singular. Uh, that means you have to say one pair of scissors, two pairs of scissors. Can you hand me the scissors is okay. okay. I need some scissor. I need some scissors. Okay. That's, okay. That's okay. But it's uncountable, so I can't say I... Oh, I had three scissors in this drawer. Where did they go? I can't say that. I have to say I had three pairs of scissors. Um, okay. It's incorrect. Say I need a scissor. That's... You are right. It is incorrect to say that. Okay. Very good. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'm getting some echo, echo, echo. Oh, I guess it's from you, Mustafa, but we were talking, so that's okay. Sorry, I. That, that's fine. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Heidi, what is this? Come on. All right. Heidi, what does it mean if I say I'm going to put the hammer down? <laughs> hammer down. You are yeah. Kidding. <laughs> you are kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe. Hey, um, it could. You're kind of right. Put the hammer down I, could mean a couple different things. All right? This is an idiom, idiom an expression. If I'm going to put the hammer down on Heidi, it could mean <laughs> I'm going to kill her. It could mean it means I'm going to be very strict. All right? Mm -hmm. I need to put the hammer down on my staff. They've been uh, acting irresponsibly. I need to put the hammer down on my children. <laughs> they got to put their toys away. I need to put the hammer down. I need to be more strict. Um, okay, another meaning: put the hammer down. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put my foot on the gas pedal and speed up the car. Put the hammer down. All right. Can also mean that. So two different, totally different meanings to that idiom. Um, uh, well, since we're right here, Heidi, uh, I, w I want you to help me out. Uh, what do I use a hammer for? Uh-huh. Uh, to hit the nail. Yeah. It doesn't hit. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, a man went to his psychologist, uh, and he said, doctor. I, uh -huh. And I even think. in the court... Judge has hammer. He does. No, he doesn't. He does. It is a hammer in a general way, but a judge has a gavel. Uh huh. Different. It, yeah, it has. There's a different word. It's a gavel is made out of wood with a rounded end. Now, um, if you go camping and you're hammering in your tent pegs, yeah, into the ground. Mm -hmm. Now that's a that's a mallet. Uh huh. It's round. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a bit mallet. softer. That, that's a mallet. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you have a giant one, um, really big one, okay, and you're hammering in a post, a fence post, let's say, mm -hmm. you would use a, a sledgehammer. It's a really big one. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, Heidi, uh, a man went to the psychologist, and he said, Doctor, um, I have this problem. I, I keep hitting myself in the head with a hammer. Ah, yes, it's uh, under the knee. Yeah, and the doctor, no, 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 I'm telling you a joke. Hit. Don't interrupt me. The, the man tells the doctor, I keep hitting myself in the head with a hammer, and the doctor says, why are you doing that? Why do you think, what brings you to that point where you have to hit yourself in the head with a hammer and the man says, Doctor, you know, it just feels so good when I stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
sometimes humans are like that. They cause themselves pain. Just because it feels good when they stop. Um, Teacher, uh, sorry, just I have a question. If I sure. Yeah. Please. Yes, uh, always. Uh, what's the difference between like sledgehammer and mallet the, before? I missed it. Okay. A mallet you would use, it's a, you would use with one hand. Um, you would, it's uh, generally made of wood, but of course very hard wood. It can be made of metal, but you would use it, for example, to hammer in the pegs for your tent when you're camping. Okay. To, uh, if you're gardening, to hammer in a wooden stake. You, you wouldn't use this device in the picture. You would use a, a mallet. It has a rounded head. The top, by the way, this the top of this is called the head of the hammer. Uh, okay, a sledgehammer is like huge, man. It's really big. It takes both arms to swing it. You pull it back behind you with, and you slide your arm down. Uh, uh, all right, so you're, you're going to use a sledgehammer. You ever see pictures of those guys uh, hammering spikes into the railroad? They're making a. They're making of the railroad rails, tunka, 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 and they're swinging those giant hammers. That is a sledgehammer. Uh, okay. Moving on. There's a, okay. You're welcome. Thank you for asking a question. I appreciate questions. Eliza, what's this? Number eight. Eliza? Yes, uh, it's a leather. I, I, I really love your pronunciation. It's a ladder. Good. Uh, Not a ladder. Uh, thank you. A ladder. <laughs> Very good. It's a ladder. That's right. Eliza, where are, you, where are you from again? I'm sorry, I can't remember. Brazil. Brazil. All right. Do they have a superstition that if you walk under a ladder... Do, do, do you go from here to here underneath the ladder it's bad luck yes I agree <laughs> because the man <laughs> the man in the ladder uh, can can uh, down in my uh, under under me he can. yeah <laughs> Something. Can down. Oh, uh, and, okay, all right. And, and okay, hang on. under me. He he can drop something. He can drop his hammer. Whoops! Yeah, yeah. Bonk. <laughs> uh, or or the man can fall down. Fall oh. down. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's true. Um, in in many. Western cultures, walking under a ladder is bad luck. Like breaking a mirror is seven years bad luck. Walking under a ladder is bad luck. This is called a superstition. Now, on the other hand, Eliza is perfectly correct because this may be a superstition, but she's absolutely right. Something could fall on your head. You could get hurt. It's a superstition that actually makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, okay. Moving on, Max. What's this thing? Light or <laughs> light? I don't know. No. Uh, no. A lighter is what you use to light your cigarette or your cigar. That's a lighter. You use your thumb, okay, to make a fire on a lighter. Uh, okay. In okay, well, here let me show you the words. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. A uh, torch. torch. Okay. British people call this a torch. Americans do not. For every American, this is a flashlight. Flashlight. <laughs> flashlight. Okay. Uh, no American calls this a torch. A torch is an entirely different thing for an American. A torch is what you see in the movies like uh, The Hobbit. 
when he goes into the cave and he lights a fire at the end of a stick. That's a torch. But at Olympic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Olympics, all right. They carry the torch for whatever, five million kilometers, and they light the Olympic fire by, uh, by using a torch. Exactly. That's it. You got it. All right. Um, all right, now, um, moving on. Uh, William, what's this thing? Okay, that is a screw screwdriver. Yeah, and uh, since they go together so closely, I have to give William another one. What do we use a screwdriver for? For well, what do we okay, do with a screwdriver? Okay, you can you can uh, tight uh, screws. Screws, tight ten. Okay, the verb is tighten. Tighten. Okay. That to fix yeah. some something. Or a painting or door. I would say just uh, yeah. loosen, loosen a screw or tighten a screw. That's right. That's right. So, William, if I tell you, William, I think you have a screw loose. <laughs> what do I mean? Oh, uh, that you are crazy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Very good. That's right. There's an idiom, very common. I think he's got a screw loose. Uh, absolutely perfect. Right on, man. Uh, thank you very much. If I tell you you have a screw loose, I think you're crazy. All right. Thanks, William. Um, back to Mustafa. What's this thing? Uh. This is like, I, I don't know the specific name. Tool for painting. This is tool for painting. Actually, I love the idea that instead of giving up, you actually explained it. If you're yeah. taking an IELTS test or a TOEFL test or any kind of uh, academic um, uh, assessment test of that nature, if you don't know what the thing is, explain it. All right. That's, that's actually good English. Mustafa, I commend you for that. All right, do you see the word now? Paintbrush. There you go. It's a paintbrush. Uh, Mustafa, have you ever done any painting? Yeah. You have? Doors, for example, window. Doors, windows, all right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, sure. Uh, Mustafa, in your country, do painters get paid much money? Mm. House painters, by the way. I, I, I don't have an idea, actually, about it, but maybe it's not that much money. It's normal, like, it's not uh, uh, expensive, something specific to not. I think it's normal. Okay. Uh, by the way, it's a different thing if you say he's a house painter or he's a painter. Okay. Uh, Salvador Dali was a painter. He, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, he was not a house painter. <laughs> Two different things. So if you want to talk about a house painter, you need to say house painter. If you want to talk about an artist, you say painter. Okay. Uh, Heidi? What's this thing? So. Yeah. <laughs> he picked up his hammer and saw. Okay. Uh, saw is exactly pronounced the same. It's exactly the same word as the past tense of the verb to see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I think that's, that we have to kind of saw. Saw for, for wood, but I don't know sure if. <laughs> the saw that we use in metal is it, it the same. Aha. Same well, that's a very good point. There's a uh, there are so many kinds of saws. All right. Uh, a very it looks like a kind of a tube with one blade in between to cut metal. It's called a hacksaw. Hack. All right. 
Axaw. Okay. I put it over there. Um, if it if the saw looks like a triangle, so you can stick it into a tiny hole and start sawing, that's a keyhole saw. Okay. Uh, all right. There's many kinds of saws. Absolutely. Uh, you're gonna saw down table a tree. Saw. Table saw. Thank you. That's the electric yeah. one that uh, rotates around. It's a circle. All right. With a motor. Um, Max, have you ever have you ever chopped Bam off your saw. have you ever chopped off your hand with a table saw? <laughs> no. I really, really, really painful. But yeah, but a lot of people in Russia. It's I don't know why it's cr it's crazy sometimes. <laughs> oh come on! Ah, my thumb. You so saw that you used to cut the trees, for example. Is the same saw? Bandsaw, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Bandsaw. Oh, Max, what's a bandsaw? Uh, it's like uh, when saw so it's like string and okay. it's uh, move around. Okay, it's like I a loop. Bandsaw? Yeah, like a loop, yeah. Um, like machine. Um, uh, Friday 13 and the movie. <laughs> Come on, you guys. <laughs> Talk about Mustafa's talking Jason, about song. Jason was killing the people. <laughs> I know somebody was gonna be morbid and talk about horror movies. All right, uh, table saws. You plug it in. It's electric, but it's a circle, and it spins around. A band saw is like a loop, like a rubber band. Okay, but like a rubber band, except there's blades. There's these blades on one side and it spins around and around. Um, somebody mentioned the kind of saw you use to cut down a tree. Uh, that would be a chainsaw. Uh, you know, that's this is weird for me to say, but I miss my chainsaw. I had a couple of chainsaws. I had a great chainsaw <laughs> when I lived in the United States. Wow. Uh, I don't have one now. I kind of miss my chainsaw. Fire that thing up. You feel the power! And, uh, sorry, I got a little carried away. All right. Uh, let's talk about some problems that you have. I'm kind of jumping around the lesson plan today. All right, I hope you don't mind. We're going to talk about some problems that you may have and how to discuss them. I'm totally lost. Oh, Heidi was last, I believe. Elisa, uh, I want yes. you to match the beginnings, either one, both, pick one, with the ending. My watch has gone? No. Um, hmm. My watch has stopped it. My watch has stopped. Well, that makes sense. Okay. The clock has stopped. All right. A watch or a clock? clock has stopped. Absolutely. Stops. Uh, okay. Uh, very good. Max? Uh, the roof is le leaking. The roof is leaking. The pipe is leaking. Leak. Yeah. yeah. Has this ever happened to you? You ever have a leaky? It's cra yeah, it's crazy. But uh, tomorrow, yesterday it was plus, and in my office <laughs> we have some kind of um, leaking. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence! Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the adjective is leaky. Oh, I got a leaky roof. I got a leaky pipe. Um, I have a leaky oil pan in my car. Okay, that's to describe the fact that it's leaking. You live where it's cold, Max. Our warm weather friends have no idea about this, but I bet you do. Have you ever had pipes freeze and burst in the winter? We Actually, we uh, put our pipes very, very deep 
in yeah. the ground. <laughs> Two meters. I think you do. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. But you you must have heard of this happening to people. Y yeah, I heard, but never have. Heard. Okay. Right. Um, in very cold places, obviously, when water freezes, it expands. When, when you make ice, it gets bigger. The water becomes larger. So when this happens inside a pipe, your pipe can actually burst or, or come apart. This is a big problem <laughs> when this happens. It's very hard to fix. It's pretty much extremely traumatic if it ever happens to you. You don't want this to happen. This is a huge problem. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, Willian. Okay, the window is stuck. The lock is stuck. Stuck. Uh, have you ever had a lock that? Have you ever had a lock that's stuck and you you can't open it? Yes. Yes. Once uh, the lock of my principal door of my house was locked because the problem is the era the was the the key. Ah, yeah. It's happened to me once with the lock of my car. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that's it's no fun. These are problems, man. <laughs> we are talking about problems here. Uh, Mustafa, number four. For the light bulb has gone. Uh, the light bulb has gone? Where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just, just has stopped. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Has come off. No. So, okay. Uh, it could be gone. Uh, okay. I, 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 I'm no, joking like, with I, you. I, I, I saw has. I saw has. So I thought it would be like past participle. So yeah, no, you're, 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 yeah, you're right. Uh, this is very British. Say something has gone when it stopped working. Um, Americans don't normally do this. The fuse is gone. The light bulb is gone. Uh, actually, we, uh, as an American, I would say the light bulb burnt out. The fuse burnt out. Uh, or it blew. Uh, the light bulb burnt out. Or blue. We blew a fuse. Oh man, you plug like 45 different things into your <laughs> outlets with an extension cord. <laughs> you may blow a fuse. And in fact, uh, Mustafa, mm -hmm. what do you think it would mean if I said to you, as an idiom, uh, oh, I didn't finish the report on time? And my boss blew a fuse. He 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 lost his marble. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did lose his marbles. He he went completely crazy, angry. He blew a fuse. Whammo! Oh my goodness, he lost his mind. Very good. You're you're absolutely you're you're right. Uh, become very angry. You blow a fuse. Um. All right. Uh, continuing, continuing on. Heidi, number five. The handle has and one of the bottom was uh, both uh, come off. Yeah. Uh, you ever have that happen on your keyboard? One of the letters comes off. <laughs> no. No, you have it really. <laughs> no. Why? That's never happened to you, seriously, really. <laughs> never. Must have happened before. It's happened to me plenty of times. <laughs> Why has that never happened to you? Okay, I buy you cheap have... keyboards, I guess. You have children. I have children. Ah, oh, yes, yeah. I forgot. Oh, yes. <laughs> different. That's it right there. Stupid me. Thank you, Max. Um, yeah, Max is correct. I have children. Yeah, that's why. Duh. No, uh, no, no, no. 
I, I, I said you have ch children. I know. That's what I said. I have children. Yeah, oh, sorry. I, I've heard. Right. That's why. That's why many things come off, uh, fall apart. The I, I, pedal, pedal of a bicycle. Sometimes it come off. Ah, your pedal comes off no, your bicycle. No, pedal. The saddle. Oh, the yes. seat or saddle. Seat or saddle. Either one comes off. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Someone goes. Yep. Someone steal. <laughs> steal. <laughs> saddle. Saddle. Crazy. All right. Something comes off. All right. It's removed from the main part. Yeah. And that ha that can happen with many things. A bicycle seat, a handle, uh, a knob, a doorknob. Oh, my goodness. I opened the door and the doorknob came right off. Came right off. There's a common co-location. Came right off in my hand. Jeez. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, Bakri, by the way. Howdy, howdy. Hello. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing good, but I, I'm getting depressed as we read about these problems. And I think about all the things I have to do in my house. <laughs> Thank goodness my wife is not watching this uh, particular class. I would be in uh, big trouble. <laughs> I hope not to watch it on YouTube, maybe. Later. <laughs> Silence. Um, Stop okay. that. I, really, I can't. I can't handle the truth. Uh, my handle has come off. Oh, okay. Um, I'll come back to you, Bob, in a minute. I hope right. not one of the truths come off. <laughs> yeah, we don't want the truth to come to light. I just, I, yeah. I don't want the truth to come to light with my wife. She'll find out, she'll figure out how many things I need to be fixing. Eliza, the sink is... Oh, there's another problem I have. <sighs> Eliza? <laughs> yeah. The sink is blocked. The yeah. drain is blocked. Yeah, that's it. The drain is blocked. Have you ever had this happen? You have a, uh, a sink or a drain blocked. The water goes down. Have you ever had that happen, Eliza? Sorry, teacher. Have you ever had that happen where a, a sink or a drain is blocked in your house? Oh, yeah. It's common. <laughs> it's common. Yeah, it's I have common. Uh, okay, now, okay, I'm going to move into a little different area. We're going to read some uh, short sentences. But uh, this is a little speaking exercise. I want you to tell me how you're going to fix this problem. What would you do if this happened to you? Max, the window's broken. Uh, what are you going to do? Actually, now it's quite hard to change window because <laughs> we, we use some kind of... Um, pocket of glasses it's like one two three three glasses and they s glue together yeah. and, uh, between them air and uh, I don't know yeah you, you, usually I I order the same w window <laughs> yeah but ten, ye ten years ago maybe I just cut uh, glass in proper size and put in the window. I don't know. Right. You use tacks to place it in and then you use putty to putty. to glue the sides. That's that kind of um not mm, liquid, not it. not solid. It's squishy and it, after it dries out and becomes hard, but you use it to fix holes in the wall or to glue a window into place. Yeah, uh, okay, Max talked about how there's three layers to the window. Those are called panes. A Pain. window pane is one sheet of glass. All right, one sheet. So, yeah, obviously, Max lives where it's very cold because he has 
glass in his windows that are three panes thick. Yeah. Double pane is usually good enough for me, but three, okay. Must be very cold where he lives. <laughs> it, it helps to insulate. Okay. Thanks, Max. That was great. Um, very useful. Uh, William, what are you going to do? Hopefully, it's leaked. Okay. In this case, uh, I don't have a choice. I have, I have to, to take my car to the workshop. Okay. I think that that is a specific and a specialist uh, work or task. Okay. I don't have a tool for, for repair. I already don't when it's leaking. I have to hire a mechanic. Okay. You have to take your car to the mechanic yeah. or take your car to the garage. In English, the people that work on your car, oh, my car's in the garage. Or my car is at the mechanics. Okay. Um, is normal. All right. Sometimes there's some kind of liquid stuff you can buy. If this happens to you, William, don't take it to the mechanic. The mechanics charge you an arm and a leg. Um, you might want to try going to your car parts store. You can buy this stuff that uh, you pour into your radiator and it automatically seals the radiator. Sometimes that works. Not always. Not Sometimes. always. Sometimes the radiator uh, can be repaired. Yeah, sometimes but you can you can pour in this solution that seals leaks in your radiator. It's a lot cheaper. Yes, but that, that depends on, on the, the side of the leak. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, I mean, if it's a tiny leak, it can it can it can do it. it but can, yeah, it can, yeah. If it's a leak the size of your head, well, you know, you need a new radiator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Max, observation, okay. comment. Yeah. yeah, I I'm not sure how to name it in English. It's like people people's way to to repair something. Yeah. Um, do it yourself. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, something like that. How yeah. do you name it? Uh, well, I, okay, I, I don't, I don't really know. But <laughs> when I, I used to work on my car myself all the time. Um, I used to tune up my car. Okay, that's. Basic oil change, radi um, change the spark plugs, top up the radiator or flush the radiator. Uh, basic, basic maintenance to a car. Okay. Um, if uh, leaking is not strong, uh, yeah. you can put a small amount of mustard in your system. <laughs> really? <laughs> and leaking, yeah, and leaking is All right. go away. I like that. <laughs> Okay, this is good. Right, this is very good information. All right. The radiator, by the way, is that part in the very front of your car that is used to cool down your engine so your engine doesn't blow up, catch on fire. Okay, it has a green, weird liquid. The radiator fluid is what you put in it. And by the way, please be careful. Uh, here's a public service announcement. Um, please be careful with your radiator fluid because dogs love this stuff and it, I don't know why, but they find it extremely attractive and it is extremely poisonous to them. So you must be careful with that weird green liquid you use in your car radiator because it, dogs love it, they'll lick it up and it's really poisonous. I have no idea why. That's my public service announcement for the day. Uh, okay, moving on. Bakri, if your hot water tap is dripping, what are you going to do? Who are you going to call? I, Ghostbusters! No. Either uh, like remove the, the tap and try to put some uh, glue or tap over the base of the, of the tap or change it to a new one. Maybe I have to call a plumber at that time. 
Right, very good. Okay, you can try to fix it yourself, all right, with um, their special type of glue. Not really glue. Tape. Plumber's putty. Ah, plumber's yeah. tape. Oh, yeah, tape. thanks. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you got it. It's weird because it's tape, but it's used like a glue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it, you may try to fix it yourself. Maybe you can just tighten the gasket. Okay, a gasket mm -hmm. is like a rubber thing that goes around, uh, used to seal, whatever. You have a gasket on it to hold the oil in your car. You have a gasket in your plumbing in your house. Mm -hmm. uh, that thing is called a gasket. If all else fails, you, ha you have to call a plumber. They, those mm -hmm. are the guys that fix your pipes. Yeah. Right. Maybe you need a new gasket. Who knows? Very good. Uh, okay. Plumber's tape. Yeah, that's weird stuff, man. It's tape, but it's glue. But it's glue, but it's tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah anyway. Uh, okay. Thanks, Bakri. Moving on. Uh, Mustafa, the drain is blocked. Okay. In your sink or in your tub, the water goes down and goes out of your house through the drain. Um, so in your tub, your your wife never cleans the hair out of the out of the tub, Mustafa. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It is the spouse problem it would be. <laughs> yeah. So we have to clean it. I don't know, like, uh, you can do it by do? yourself or call uh, someone, like, I'm not sure if like the plumber is doing. Yeah, that would be the plumber again. That's right. Um, sometimes you can just buy a solution, usually an acid-based solution, and pour it in the pour it in, and it sinks. It's heavier than water, so it sinks into the drain, and then it uh, eats, eats, dissolves, not eats, dissolves whatever is uh, blocking your drain. Sometimes that'll work. Right, right. Or, or, Mustafa, you can use a device called a snake. That's right, it's called a snake. Not a viper, not a rattlesnake, but a snake. Um, it's a long, thin, um, hard wire, I guess. Uh, on a spool, like a, almost like a fishing line, you can reel it in, reel it out. Is, and when is that you're using for 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 a snake, uh, for like a sink, or for maybe larger than sink, a snake. A snake, it, you it's when a drain is blocked. You poke it in the hole, and then you unreel the snake, and you shove it into the hole, and it, it's long and thin, and it goes down, and it bends around in the pipes. You force it in there. You're basically poking through the block. That, that mm -hmm. thing is called a snake. I'm all uh, can't tell you how many times in my life I've borrowed a snake from a neighbor to unblock a drain because I'm too lazy or too stupid to buy my own. I don't know. I know what one is. I know how to use one, but I never buy my own. <laughs> It's one of those kinds of tools, Mustafa. Of course, I have a hammer. I have screwdrivers. I have a drill. I have common tools. I'm a normal man, but I never get around to buying a snake, although it's an extremely useful tool. Uh, okay, let's move on here. Uh, Heidi, okay, good. I'm glad it's you. Heidi? Mm hmm what am I going to do if there's a stain on the carpet? Now, Heidi, I'm so glad it's you because I seriously have no idea what to do. Uh huh. Uh, you should bring it. It if it it is small, you should bring it to the laundry shop. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like like a like a dry cleaners? Yeah, a small, like like lab or something, small one. Okay, but what if it's like the carpet, like wall to wall carpeting? Is all over the whole floor. Because oh. you know what I do? I move. I move the furniture to cover mm -hmm. it. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, put the towel under the carpet and uh, yeah. keep with the um, towel, wet, wet, wet towel. Uh -huh. 
the surface. Okay. Then the color uh, moves to uh, the, the tower under the carpet. Really? Yeah. Okay. Thank so you. Sometimes you need to put um, the, the term, uh, I forgot the name. <laughs> Oh, they have detergent, steam cleaners. Detergent. Yeah, detergent. Yeah, they also have steam cleaners for your carpet where it shoots very, very, very hot. But I don't. <laughs> yeah, you have to rent one, you know, <laughs> right? Uh, okay. Okay, since I'm talking to you, what do you what do you do for stains on your clothes? Like, yeah, for like that I mentioned, um, under the cloth, I put towel. Then from uh -huh. up, from the outside, I hit it uh, with another towel. Oh, because that will draw the water up as it becomes steam. Yeah. Oh, that's really smart. I never thought of that. And repeat, repeat it many times. That's very logical. Okay. Because when you create steam, the water molecules become very small and they're forced up. Thus, they may bring some of the residue up. Ooh, that's really... That's good. Before I was working in a, a clothing shop, sometimes customers try to wear. After that, they uh, left the lipstick or some, some color. <laughs> so I needed to remove that. <laughs> right. That's good. All right. Thank you, Heidi. Useful. I like to learn things, too. Um, Eliza, what are you going to do if there's a flood in your house and all the carpets are ruined? Uh, teacher, I it's <laughs> it's very hard. I th I think the call the housekeeper. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. And no housekeeper in the world are gonna replace your carpets for you. It's too late. I'll tell you, hi, uh, Eliza. What you need to do? You need to strip the carpets. Okay, fixing things and repairing things at home. You strip the paint. You strip the carpet. When you remove uh, when you remove something in a permanent way, you strip it. Oh, uh, strip it. Yeah. Well, you can also use strip for removing your clothes. All right. If you strip, you take off all your clothes and you're naked. So you strip something, you remove the outer the outside, you remove it. You can strip your wallpaper, strip your paint. Wires, it, the plastic coating on the outside of wires, if you want just the metal inside, you strip the wire. All right? You've got to connect two wires together, for example. You need to strip the outside layer. You strip the wires, and then you uh, maybe you solder them together. Maybe you just twist them together in your, with your hands and Hope your house doesn't catch on fire. Okay, you're probably going to have to strip up the carpet and replace them. Okay, probably you need to. Re uh, yeah, uh, the name of of a man, a profession of a man, is uh -huh. a, st a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Just way too funny. Um, Plum oh is clever, strip is Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, 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 I am so tempted to just say yes, that's right. I'm they are so they go. <laughs> Yeah. I will call a stripper I, in the yeah, house. I will call a stripper to my house. Oh my gosh. My carpets are ruined. I'm calling a stripper. Calling my, a husband, male stripper. my husband is like this idea. <laughs> Give your husband a heart attack. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, that, that stripper is someone who removes their clothes for money. So, no. Um, it, it is interesting, though. Seriously, though, a guy who installs and takes out, takes out and installs carpet, it's funny because we don't have a, you know, we have plumber, 
carpenter, electrician. We have names for all these occupations, but there really is no name for for these people. Well, they perform a very useful and regular, understandable job. There's no name. They're just carpet installers. That's it. Uh, okay. All right. So please just, you know, don't call a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be wrong. Um, you know, you, you, you're, you're painting this horrible picture in my head of... <laughs> of men ripping up the carpet with a very very little clothes on. Um, I I have I'm gonna have to go rest now. Um, I have to lie down. Uh, I think I've been traumatized by Eliza. I have to go lie down now. Okay. Uh, okay. Everyone. Uh, you want to change profession? I have to go take a shower. <laughs> I have to go take a shower now. I feel dirty. <laughs> Hopefully, the brain's not blocked. Yeah, thank you guys. See you guys again. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye.